Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to talk to you since we are on the other side of the solstice and some of you are getting to a new level. And this is the way it goes. There are waves of people. So sometimes we call this first waivers. Here's the kicker. If you've been doing some of the work, you're going to feel this inside, but I want to show you on the body, where does this affect you? Because it can really throw people off. My specialty is the metaphysical and ascension symptoms, the detox, and everything else that is going with the brand new integration of popping open your star seeds and all the other 1,000 magnificent parts of you, right? But it has to start from somewhere. So here's what is happening. Now, this is a time frame for you. It's not the entire season. However, it is a somewhat lengthy period of time, which is preparatory, it's detox. And I wanna remind you something. This is about love. If you do not believe in 5D love, if you are not using love, and you're trying to use your mind to do some of this, you're not going to be able to figure it out. But that is exactly why I have classes to get you steered onto your light body because it's new and it is very new. This is literally the newest thing in the universe that we are doing right here in River City, so to speak. Where are the areas of the body? So you can see that I have two gender bodies here. For females, and this will pertain to people who are born as female, you have female organs in your body, or if you are, um, perhaps you might have some parts of you, right? This is what this is representing, okay? And there are areas, okay? So let me come over here to show you what are we talking about here? We are talking about heart. We are talking about 5D connections, which are here. So if you have stress in the middle of your chest, you're going to feel it pretty much right here. This is a delineation point because this will have to do with your wing structure, being able to be in an upper level and be able to hold the connections. And while that seems like a lot, I have the way to do it. And I teach that. So you have this, and this is one of the magnificent sparkling parts of you. You have connections at major organs because believe it or not, parts of you anchor your higher connections. Your higher connections help manage your body functions and your life here. And not only that, it coordinates it with your twin flame. So where else do females have this? Okay, we're going to talk about where else. Sorry, let me turn this a bit. Okay, the solar plexus. What do you have here? And what do you have here? Okay, you've got repro. You've got endocrine. And the general direction of this is up, okay? Now, how do you get things that are down here up? How do you have your um, Hara connections, which is your connections to the collective, your tribe, up? How are you going to get that? How are you going to make things function better? And you go through a process, and the process is physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, because the mental and the emotional go together. And the glands here connect to help operate these, okay? But this isn't just a biology lesson. This is telling you where are some of these trouble spots going to be and how does it translate? So here's how it translates, okay? It's going to translate as hormones in the upper body and this means allergies 
are you allergic to people? Are they irritating, annoying you? Are they like sandpapering you? They rub you the wrong way? Sure, because you're a person, you're a unique person. You don't have to love everybody. Even if you want to help humanity and love humanity, not everybody is for everybody and that's how it is, okay? You're going to have allergies. You're going to have addictions, okay? Even mild ones. Even mild ones like coffee, cigarettes, things that are socially acceptable, but actually, I mean, sorry, cigarettes kill people, smoke kills people, upper body stimulants, they're finding that it is very taxing for the heart, your spleen, your heart, okay? your heart. How many females have menopause symptoms, aging symptoms, perimenopause, issues at the new moon, issues at the full moon, right? So these are things that we want to adjust so that you're supported properly. There's other things too. Eyes, Dry eye, that's a thing. Blurry eyes, feeling fatigued. Along with this goes a lot of world weariness. And you can feel things emotionally like, hey, I've, you know, done everything. I have a lack of enthusiasm. I don't know what to do. And you may be just saying, and here's another thing to know about. Do you feel like your life has, um, you're just floating here. You're just floating and you're waiting and you're just saying, you know what? I don't know what my next things are. Like, I don't know what's next. I just wish my twin would show up. I wish my twin would come to their senses. Well, guess what? They have to anchor some stuff too. What do you go through meanwhile? Well, there are several parts of you that have to adjust to each other. And this pertains if you are two females, if you're two males, these parts of you have to align. And those are not the only parts. This is going to be who you've seen, what you've seen, what you've witnessed. And we're talking about really deep stuff because this is a part of your cosmic history. This is a part of more than one dimension. This is more than just 3D to 4D. This is things that are in the old paradigm. So yeah, there's a lot of emotions and there's a lot of habits and behaviors people have done to cope. And you're gonna have to do it differently. And you're gonna have to do it with your light body protecting you like a bubble. Why? Because you have wings, okay? You have wings, your other half has a heart, your other half has to function properly. Your other half has to pull their reproductive out and away. And that's not easy. How do you go up to someone and just be like, hey, stop giving out all of your energy to everyone else. Go no fap. Stop masturbating. Be celibate. People don't want to hear that, but it's been happening. And this happens because it's driven at the soul level for people. And then people scratch their head and they're saying, doctor, what's wrong with me? Your doctors won't know about this. This is where we come in, me and my practitioners. We help people with these exact things. We do classes on this to get you through it. There is a timeline for this, and the timeline is until about August, the Lion's Gate. We are having several classes that we are doing to help you do this. Okay, not just get you through it, okay? And you're not journaling about this. You're not, you know, this stuff goes so fast. It is intense because there's two of you. Now, how does some of this work? So I have my little not for prime time players here. Okay. And he's hoisting her up. Right. And he's like, come on, come on, come on, get your foothold. And she's up here saying, where are you? I'm so isolated and alone. She can't feel him inside her. She can't feel where the energy, what's happening, where it's going. And he's like, get your foothold, get your foothold. And then what happens? 
they both collapse because they're not doing it right. She's like, what's happening in astrology? Astrology isn't helping with this body stuff. It just doesn't. Might be fun. It might be entertaining. You know, I get it. I, I have, you know, a certain degree of really knowing what this is. But we're collapsing all these dualities so that we can be together. Gain your footholds. Come on. Come on. Ugh, ugh, ugh. And she doesn't know what to do. Why? Because she needs to level up so that he can, oh, I can finally let go. He can let go. What does let go really mean? Break up, get divorces, change jobs, change locations, whatever changes he needs to make or she, because it is the same mechanisms for anyone who's LGBT. And this is Pride Month. Happy Pride. We are also, you know, what happens when you have double feminine energy? Or what happens when you have double masculine energy, right? Double masculine. And you're still doing the same stuff. You're pulling and supporting your masculine at the same time to help each other, okay? Now, if you don't know the difference between how do you help things in your family, how do you help things in generally in society? How do you help humanity? Because there are people out there that are getting distracted by the world. You have to do it as an individual. You have, that is called doing your part. That is what I mean when I say put the oxygen mask on yourself. We do this with 5D love, which means that your body has to be open. That means things will get scooped out of you. We're peeling layers. We're peeling more layers. We're going deep. This is deep stuff. It's abandonment. It's sorrow. It's melancholy. It's hysteria. It is a lot of masculine and feminine ways of coping. All of those little bags of tricks that people have for dealing with relationships. So do you feel that you are tired, world weary? Are you having issues in the upper body? So for females, let me come back here. For females, your energies need to anchor this in the upper body for your side, your side of your union. And I mean it because even people who are of childbearing age, you're going to feel some degree of perimenopause as a result of the movements that need to happen. So let's say you've had a bunch of lives where you lived to a ripe old age, but you were decrepit and everyone you loved, like they were dead and everything you had of joy in your life. And you're kind of relegated to watching your great grandchildren, but you really can't do that guess what? That's how that feels. That is really not a good feeling. That doesn't feel like young, youthful lovers like we are saying here. I mean, people look at little things and they see beautiful young lovers just holding each other and, you know, all those platitudes like when your heart finds each other, you're going to never let go, right? Well, that is true. Because what finds you wants you healed and whole and not have this be at opposite ends where one is healthy, one isn't healthy, or one is like very um, abundant and the other one is sort of destitute and disabled and dysfunctional. Okay, we have um, on the male side too, okay. Now, here's where the kicker is for the masculine, right? They have a lot of grounding connections. This is where males feel it. They will feel it around lower body, psoas muscles, okay? Tailbone. Male repro, right? Where does that energy need to be? Up here, okay? How are they doing it unless you both pull out? Unless you both yank out and pull out your connections 
and you might feel like you are cast adrift, being forced by your soul to start doing this, start doing it. What else do you have? Fighting energy, arguing, argue, fight, conflict. That is on kidneys and adrenals, right? You know what this feels like for the other twin? It feels like constant agitation, constant adrenaline rushes. It feels like anxiety. It feels like this frenetic energy and this burns people out and they go into fatigue. So how is your twin flame being calmed down in order to do this? This is why even though when I work with one person, both are gaining the benefits, okay? Both are gaining the benefits. Now, the last thing that I wanna say here is, how do we do this? Okay, how do I do this? First of all, I'm guided. I have a pre-medical background. I've been doing this for years. There are things that you need inside because you have tissues and membranes that hold memories. So I'm well aware of past lives, but in order to do it expediently, if you think about this, you have like thousands of past lives, right? And now it's all been crammed here, it's compressed because you're being shoved towards the door. You're like, time to get going, time to get going, guy. Let's get a move on, right? Start doing your stuff. Oh, we're gonna pry that from your cold dead fingers, right? You never thought that you'd have a job change, but guess what? It's changing because you need repositioning. So he's like on one of those cruises that's being repositioned. Maybe he's emotionally upset, but it is a blessing in disguise. But what about the body? The body has to be healthy. So this means proper supplements. and essences because your light body corresponds with those. There is a correspondence between the repro and the eyes. Okay, there's a correspondence there, why? Why is there a correspondence? Because we all flirt, we all like to be paid attention to, we all like a little bit of you know, seeing the mirror from other people. How are we? Are we attractive? Um, does someone like us? Does someone care about us? Do they, you know, will they love us? A lot of people have really deep issues about that. A lot of people try to trap people. And a lot of people have this far too connected to the collective. And they're being told this. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Well, not for a twin flame. Not once you've been activated, there's one person. And I know there's a lot of BS out there about it. Like, oh, hey, you could be polyamorous or you have there. No, well, only one person embodies it. So it all starts compressing in and it starts squishing your organs and it starts pushing out of the cells. So all the memories, people you've been with, people that you crushed on, People that rejected you, people that you lived with, people that you married, people that you made babies with. There's a lot of clearing of the sacred areas, of the sacral area and the heart, okay? Because we do this with 5D love, and if you cannot embody 5D love, you're going to, like, sorry, it, it starts feeling like you're withering on the vine and you feel a little bit lost in it. Come join us. Get clarity because when we work with the body, it works through you. That is the best way because then you feel it. It's experiential, meaning you're actually experiencing it. In our last webinar, we had people who were able, by the time, by the third segment, we had people who were able to see out of their twin flame's eyes. Now, this is a special thing because it, it gives you the emotional content, it gives you the visual content, and yet it doesn't throw you off. It happens in a safe context. 
You're not driving a car and then seeing everything your twin is seeing and crash your car. No, your soul is not foolish about this, but participating in your own twin flame ascension and twin flame union, it happens through the body and more and more and more. So watch and look for the links below. Check out our website, twinflamereconnection.com. It's brand new. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Happy other half of the year. Bye.